company. DPW says the driver had some kind of a medical emergency causing that crash that you see there. He was hospitalized but has been released. No one else was hurt. Tonight, an important story to protect your family. This is called the grandparent scam, and even the savviest grandparent can fall for this one. These scammers are pretty good. In this Contact 6 Alert, Katrina Cravey shows you how the bad guys pull off this trick and how you can shut them down. I got a phone call from someone who purported to be my grandson, sounded exactly like him, uh, said he was in Mexico and um, had some trouble and uh, needed some money. So Eleanor went to the post office with $5,800 in cash. She prepared an express mail envelope, and the postal worker at the counter gave her advice. He looked at me, and he said, you make sure that you call before you send this. Eleanor tried to call her family, but didn't get an answer. Because time, she was told, was of the essence, she sent the package. The victim was very sweet. She was just very concerned about her uh, grandson's well-being and making sure that he got home safely. Turns out it was all a scam. Hours later, Eleanor learned her grandson was not in trouble. I felt like I was um, a real idiot. Then she went to the police. U.S. Postal inspectors used her tracking number and were able to intercept the package before delivery. We were glad to help her get that money back. Eleanor's good fortune comes with a warning. Before you send any money to anybody, make sure you're verifying your stories. Assume it is a scam until you know better. And the scammers use a variety of different stories. Over the years, I've heard grandsons and granddaughters calling to say they were injured or arrested in Mexico, Canada, England. You name it, they have called. So be sure to warn your grandparents about this and tell them to just hang up. And remember, if anybody ever asks you to send any large amounts of money through the mail, it's probably scam. I'm Katrina Cravey, Contact 6. Thank you, Katrina. The Brewers are bringing back the popular peanut-controlled areas for some games in 2013. Fans suffering from peanut allergies will be able to buy tickets in special sections for...